Oh, you know, we're always trying to find ways to save money and cut back on calories. So Fitness Magazine actually found a way for you to do both. The magazine asked their favorite chefs and nutritionists to share some of their secrets. Sarah Wells is the magazine's nutrition editor. She's here to reveal some of those tricks, and it actually is going to help save us money and eat healthier, right? That is right. Welcome back. Good Thanks. to see you. Thanks. Good to see you. So the first thing, let's just talk about it right off the bat. Dinner 911. You burn the rice. And it's a problem. Right. You know? You don't need to throw it out. It's really, really, you can salvage it. Okay. What you're gonna do is you're gonna put your rice into a container just like this, mm -hmm. put in a whole peeled onion, put the lid on, let it sit for 15 minutes, and the onion what? will actually absorb the burnt odor and flavor. You're an onion will? An onion, <laughs> yeah. I know. And you Who leave knew? it in there just for 15 minutes. Just for and 15 you're good minutes and you're good to go. And it doesn't smell like onion? It won't smell like onion. Okay, I like that one. <laughs> then the other problem is when you make, let's say you make soup or you buy it and it's a little too salty. Right. Yeah. This is actually a very easy fix. You basically just want to add a half to three quarter cup of liquid to thin it out. Okay. So if you're using a clear soup like chicken noodle, you can add water or an unsalted broth. Uh -huh. And if it's cream or puree based like tomato, you want to add some milk. Okay. The next problem is salads. Every now and then you'll pour a little too much dressing right. on there and you don't know how to quite get it out. But right. pe most people put lettuce, extra lettuce. Which in. is actually a mistake because the lettuce will just wilt and get all soggy. Yeah. So what you want to do instead is add crunchy vegetables like some carrots and some broccoli which will just soak up the extra moisture. Okay, that's it. Yeah. Just those two right there? Super okay. simple. And you get some extras in your salad too. <laughs> exactly. Then, okay, you, you go to the store, you buy herbs and they're wilted within a couple of days. You haven't even had a chance to use them. Right. Is there anything that you can do to keep them from wilting? Yes, so actually. And again, it's a very easy fix. You're simply going to put your herbs in a bag with a paper towel just like this. Okay. And actually the paper towel will absorb all the condensation and the moisture so that your herbs will stay fresh for about a week. Like a Ziploc bag, something like that. Yeah. Is that what you're saying? Yeah, or even okay. the bag that you get them in from the grocery store. Burgers. I see you've got some some mushrooms here, a cucumber. And what is this? This is uh, plain yogurt. Plain yogurt. How does this help your <laughs> burger? <laughs> all right. Well, what we're su suggesting is that you make a quick healthy swap by subbing out your lean ground beef for mm -hmm. your lean ground turkey. So you're going to save about 120 calories and 12 and a half grams of fat by doing that. Wow. But some people are going to Say. It's not as juicy, it's not as flavorful. So, to get around that, mm -hmm. add two chopped portobello mushrooms to each pound of meat, okay. and you'll get that juiciness and that yeah. flavor that you want while saving all the calories. And you won't miss it. Exactly. Miss it and then for a topping, instead of mayo or mustard or ketchup, um, if you just add some plain yogurt, some mm -hmm. chopped cucumber, some chopped onion, and a few food processor, and then mm -hmm. add some dill, and you're you're good to go. Look at you yeah. coming up with some I, solutions. Well, I, I, I can't take the credit, sadly, but, <laughs> but you're giving them to us. Right. Now, now you've got one of my favorites here. I love cooking with olive oil, but now we're hearing that you know if, if you're a little too generous yeah. with the, too much fat, right? How do you get around that? Right. So this is actually if you pour it straight from the bottle, yeah, which you can I almost end up with about 200 calories worth of oil just in the pan. Oh. So to get around that, spray bottle. This is one of the fancier olive oil spray bottles. Uh -huh. but honestly, any spray bottle you have around the house will do. Mm -hmm. You don't need to buy one specific for that. Okay. And if you just spritz the pan with the olive oil before you saute your meats and veggies, you'll probably use about a half tablespoon, so just oh. 60 calories. Okay, so there is a way. <laughs> All right. Now I see you've got menus over here. When you're eating out at restaurants, it's so hard to kind of pay attention to calories and cost. Right. But what is this? What is this doing? Okay, so we actually found research showing that if women go online before they get to a restaurant and look up the menu, mm -hmm. they'll make healthier choices if they pick out what they want to eat before getting to the restaurant than if they make that decision when they're uh -huh. there. Because when you're hungry, you yeah. see what your friends are getting, you see what <laughs> smells good, right. you're more likely to say, oh, I'll have the fettuccine Alfredo, <laughs> but at home you might say, I'll have the salmon. Yeah, or you'll so. order double in the right. restaurant too. <laughs> okay, now very quickly, I know we mentioned how to save the, the herbs, but right. also if you've got like lettuce, you know, right. other vegetables. That you this want is to great. This is the Progressive Lettuce Keeper. Mm -hmm. It's got 16 settings on it. It'll actually work for almost any vegetable. Uh -huh. Throw your vegetables in there. It keeps them fresh for about two weeks. Okay, and then this one here is for the salad dressing. Right, that's right? the coon-based whisk, and you measures your salad dressing and stirs it for you all in one container. You are just a bivy of information. Yeah, I, I love try. That. Oh, yeah. Thank you so <laughs> Thank much. You. We appreciate it. And if you guys want to see more ways to shop smarter, cook faster, and eat healthier, you can go to fitnessmagazine.com or just pick up the latest issue of Fitness Magazine. Thanks for watching Better.TV. For more stories like the one you just saw, catch the television program Better every weekday. Check your local TV listings to see if better airs in your city.